Okay, um, let's start Xcode. Create a new project, new Xcode project right here. Uh, create a new game. Click that, click next. And type in the name of the game. We're just going to do Particle Sim. And you, if you don't have all this stuff here, then um, that's a whole nother lesson. But otherwise, just make sure you have uh, the Swift language and the scene kit. The options are Sprite Kit and Metal. And these should these default settings should already be set. The only one you have to make sure is Scene Kit and Swift. Type your name in there and then hit Next. Set the location for your game. Mine's going on a desktop. I got my new game right over here, Particle Sim. Here's your IDE. Um, we're not going to run it on the simulator. We're just going to play with it in the um, the Particle Simulation um, viewport. Uh, so in order to do that, you just want to click on the, the, the project folder here. And then right button, mouse click. I don't know if you have a right button, mouse click, or the equivalent to that, or... I think you can go up here and go to um, new uh, new file new file let's see if that works yeah go to new file and you have like make sure that's collected selected iOS and then you scroll down to where it says you have these different um, modules here and you want to collect on scene kit not sprite kit but scene kit particle system file hit next and then you have all these options here with the different types of particle simulators and you can just let's just go with fire hit next you can you can give it your own name I'm just going to give it a name called fire and hit create and there you have it what you want to do here is probably change the background color in order to change the background color, you can go down here to this blue bar all the way to the uh, right hand side. Click on the, the, paint, the uh, paint palette thing and then you can go ahead and change the background color. Okay, you can close that window. Then you can just uh, right button mouse click and you can rotate the particle around or up and down. If you use the option key, you can pan it left and right and I think you can zoom it I have a, yeah, I don't know how to zoom it. Okay, that's what I got to figure out. Okay, then if you want to modify the particle simulation, you click on this little upside down Chevron thing over here, and you have all of these uh, settings, attribute settings, or whatever you want to call them, parameters. Uh, you know, and one thing you might want to change right away is the color. And I will go to, if you change it to an orange color, since it's fire, it's going to have like a fiery kind of color. Um, you know, if you put it on orange, and now you have that. So then you have all these settings here. You have the birth rate, uh, the direction, you know, here you go, lifespan. Like, for example, if you change the lifespan to like 0.1, one, it's going to make this thing like really short. 0 0.1, hit enter, and it just really shortens it up. So that's how you do it. The only other thing you can do, you can do this thing programmatically. You can start from scratch, or you can instantiate it inside of your game. So here's a game view controller. And this is all the code for the game view. This is a template, so there's a lot of stuff in this game already. But you would basically say, um, let uh, your particle, or just say fire, let fire equal, and then you call the this this fire uh, scene particle into the scene, and then you can modify the attributes, which there are a ton of them. Uh, you can see they're the same ones that are here, and all these uh, uh, particles are basically. Um, the particles attributes are things you can actually set programmatically over time and animate them and so forth once you set them here you can't animate them they're like one-time settings you know and then they're in the game like forever but if you want to control them like slow them down over time or speed them up then you can bring them in 
true. You can instantiate it into the game, and then you can modify the parameters at that point. All right. There's enough.